All right, arguably I've, I've already talked about this, but um, I just want to define this chemiosmotic coupling. And, and exactly what is chemiosmotic coupling? Well, essentially it's coupling some reaction that requires energy, such as synthesizing ATP, to a proton gradient, or better yet, an electrochemical gradient, okay? Because what happens is you can store energy in this electrochemical gradient and then use that energy that's stored in the electrochemical gradient to drive some, you know, unfavorable reaction, to drive some reaction that requires the input of energy. And in this case, and mainly what we'll be talking about in oxidative phosphorylation, is driving the synthesis of ATP, because that's what the ATP synthase, which is um, a membrane-bound membrane protein, a transmembrane protein, that synthesizes ATP. Um, so basically what chemiosmotic coupling is, is it's a mechanism by which a gradient of hydrogen ions, so protons, um, across a membrane is used to drive an energy requiring process such as ATP production or the transport of a molecule across the membrane. And that's kind of important also because this um, movement of protons, this pumping of protons from the matrix to the intracellular space in the mitochondria is, is not just done to pump protons. I mean, molecules are moving in and out at the same time. A lot of molecules follow this gradient, okay, and bring in the things that need to be um, that need to synthesize a, that are needed to synthesize ATP. So ADP comes in to the mitochondrial matrix. Okay, that's important, you know, ADP plus inorganic phosphate makes the ATP. So, so that needs to get in there. And a lot of these other molecules, even pyruvate, pyruvate is another molecule that follows that gradient. And of course, once the ATP is synthesized in the mitochondria, it, it, you know, in the matrix, it has to be pumped out to the cytosol. So how's that going to happen? Well, that's going to also follow the gradient, okay? That's going to work a little bit differently. That's going to come out with, um, as ATP is going out, ADP will come in. Okay, but that's essentially what chemiosmotic coupling is.